Welcome back, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Sorry, every time I say that, it's the Hunger Games all over again. So welcome back. Uh, we are just about ready to start with our Zelda 2 All Keys run. Uh, just a quick uh, reminder, let you know, uh, we are the RPG Valkyries, and we are an inclusive group of women who just love both RPGs and speedrunning and love to showcase our skills. And uh, this marathon, RPGs We Love, is a fundraiser in order to uh, get some funds to help our ladies make it there. So please uh, donate what you can, uh, send out the word about what we're doing, and uh, if you are donating, make sure to put it towards some of the fun incentives we've got for the runs we are doing. So that being said, let us get uh, Lightning here ready to go. Okay, perfect. You can hear me all right, correct? I can, and once I unmute your stream, everyone else will too. Awesome. There you go. You're live. Hello, everybody. This is Lightning. I'm going to be running 100% all keys. That's right. We're not everyone skipping else? a single key. What's up? Anyways, um, the only thing I'll really say before this run is the first cave. I'm gonna be trying to grind for, well not really grind, usually you would grind here for a 50p bag. Um, but I'm gonna to try to be doing a series of like frame perfect inputs to get a frame perfect 50p bag drop and if we get that then this run's gonna start off really well. I'll have guaranteed good experience, well almost guaranteed good experience going into like the rest of the run so. First 30 seconds really important. Um, but yeah, so I'm in control of my own timer right? I can just start whenever. Absolutely, it's all you. Okay. Then here it goes. So first of all, I walked right there because it burns a frame. Link starts spawned in screens looking left. So by walking right, it burned a frame so I can set this uh, pee bag up a little bit easier. Low beam strats. Okay, so I got the kills correctly. The last one is all that really matters. And did not get it. That uh, jump I did off the platform with the magic container actually <laughs> was too early of a jump. So if I had jumped like a few frames later with a short hop, I would have got that P bag with that like timing of a kill. But uh, to fix my XP, I'm just gonna go to Trophy Cave early. It is barely slower than the original route. And we got that pretty fast, so. The worst thing is getting hit in here and then having this bat in like a weird spot so he knocks you in invisible lava. So, that went okay. Bad spawns, but um, they're just like too close, kind of scary. So next is coming up Bubble Skip. Um, this one is kind of hard to hit, but I have a pretty good setup that allows me to focus on like when it occurs, which is like waiting for those spawns to de despawn and then moving up the space. And we got it. Coop. All right, this is actually a really good run so far, uh, aside from like not getting a 50p bag early. But I think that lost like a total of eight seconds. I just need to remember to uh, skip skeletons here because I'm going to be lower XP than normal. That's something I don't do very often. I usually kill uh, everything in the correct order in Palace 1. But you can actually skip two skeletons and set up your larger drop, like your 200p bag versus the red jar drop on a, dang it, a lesser important enemy. Hopefully this doesn't turn into two. Okay, it's this one. <laughs> it's 
This is Palace 1. I don't have shield, so I really just don't want to take damage here because everything's going to hit me for like full damage potential. That's one problem with doing Trophy Cave first is you skip shield to save time on the strat itself. So you come into here with a little bit more risk, but the only risky enemies really are the bots, which are the blue slimes. They're completely random, so they're the only ones I'm really worried about actually hitting me. Everything else is kind of predetermined. If that guy jumps right a hundred times, he won't jump right. So it's totally random. So I'm going to be skipping these next two skeletons twice in a row because uh, I'm going to try to set up my pee bag drop on that first guy I just skipped. Which we're going to hope I get it first try. I have two chances at a 200 pee bag, which is why I went to Trophy Cave. Otherwise I would have to get two 200 pee bags here, which um, that just sets me up for attack four out of Palace One. Which is honestly super necessary for like a good run. Um, I can deal with attack 3, but it'll lose like 30 to 40 seconds over the course of the run. Maybe less if I'm lucky. Oops. No. So I forgot he takes more hits. <laughs> I'm glad I remembered to take attack 2 though. My normal strat, I usually have attack 2 here and he would have died uh, earlier. That's why I jumped. Whoops. Luckily, uh, Sword Beam isn't super necessary. It's really nice. Obviously, I just don't want to get hit anymore because I don't want to die. Oh, there's a skeleton! I was looking at chat. <laughs> Talk about getting hit. Get hit. Okay, so I can actually take only one more hit from basically anything except for like one of these orbs. So that's <laughs> that's like the last hit I can take. So I'm gonna take these guys safe because I don't want to die. If I do die, basically I just use less lives later, which I would expend to like save time. Uh, this is a 1cc category, so you're trying to beat it without game overing. Um, however, you're gifted plenty of like 1-ups in this game. So, uh, dying early isn't horrible. Obviously, I lose a lot of time. But uh, I can always account for that later. As long as I'm not dying late game, that's like the real issue in 1cc categories. You want to know like what kind of lives you have going in later? Just don't jump. Okay, thank you. I probably won't die unless I jinx myself right now. As long as I kill everything in my path. These guys can just jump right. They didn't. That's good. Uh, this orb right here that I had to smack, I j actually jumped to swing left there to burn a frame because uh, if you if you jump crouch and stab at the same time, if you don't do it perfectly, you actually uh, burn frames in this game. Like, you'll, you'll slow down. Um, so by actually burning frames in certain cases, enemies will kind of like despawn off screen. So, uh, sometimes you'll see people doing some weird things. Like stabbing walls, going down elevators, it actually uh, changes how enemies work on the screen. Mostly the, the uh, skull bubbles though. Beep person. Hope you guys like beeps. Okay, so I got lucky. <laughs> got the 200 p bag, so we, we get an attack for a run. That's good, because I lost a bit of time here taking damage. Don't want to lose more. Mm, got him. Okay, so we survived half of P1 with one HP left. That's always fun. 
peep strats are OP. They make you play uh, infinitely better. You might as well just be 1 HP the whole game. Okay, so this is like a weird uh, time to exit P1 for most people, but I'm going to be going to Shield Town next to get shield. So I'm actually a bit of behind P PB, probably by like, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds. But that's actually really good for marathon uh, strats, going to Trophy Cave first for the extra XP. This is a pretty good time. And for almost dying. Oh god. Okay, good. I don't want to sit in the overworld area too off or too long because uh, I'll just create spawns. So by actually hesitating there, like I almost uh, screwed myself out of seven seconds with an extra spawn. Pea bag hype. What's up, Ian? Also, if I miss anybody in chat, I'm really sorry. I've only been able to look at chat like twice before. I'll just try to put on a good run. I'm known for not being able to. Uh, read chat and focus on this game very well. Early trophy cave. Hey, it actually guaranteed me attack 4. I would have not... Well, the RNG would have been different because I would have arrived at a different time, but I only got one 200p back. <laughs> I'm actually glad I went to trophy cave. Yeah, and it's like this game specifically, there's just like a lot of focus. Like obviously right now is a really good time to read chat, but uh, other times is not. Okay, we'll see how behind I am to my splits. My jump town split in my current PB is not that great. So the fact that I'm plus 20 from it is actually not too good, but trophy cave strats. That was a 949. For all you Zelda 2 nerds, that's a really bad time. But we live in. I'm just trying to stay within like a minute of my PB and I'll be pretty happy. And I'll actually be really ahead of Estimate, which might uh, be bad for the marathon or good. Who knows? We'll see. Chat is overrated. Wow, power. Wow. Are you doing a speedrun or something? You know, I'm trying. I try on the daily, and you don't see me posting any PBs. Okay. This game's pretty easy. Oh, I thought I hit you twice. I thought I did a quick double hit, so I was uh, thinking I would fall through him, but uh, I only hit him once early. Whoops. Dude, that level up was so inopportune. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna get a little body here. It's fine. We'll just get a magic refill later and get that life up. Unlucky bat pattern there. I just want to track me. And this one has the birds. Okay, so I have to do some weird stuff to get a good spawn here. Actually, I didn't really have to. Okay, cool. I was set up perfectly. Only one encounter is fine. I, that would have been a zero encounter, but that uh, big encounter just tracked me really well. He zigzagged like 10 times. He's on like 10 Red Bulls. It's effed up. Um, it would be really cool if I hadn't taken life 2. No, I definitely wanted to take life 2 there. Oh well. But I would have got a magic level up right there, which kind of would have saved me time. Oh well. It's cool. Jerk birds. Every RPG has one. It's 
Especially uh, <laughs> Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. The freaking Pazuzu split. It's always a jerk bird. Okay, so I can actually just skip a magic refill here, but I'm just gonna be a little safe. It only wastes like two and a half seconds to get a magic refill, depending on where like the old lady's standing. And she's closer to the door. But uh, this, she's always on the right here, so I don't even know. It'd be cool to time this. One, two, three, four. Ooh, that's like three and, three and three quarters. That's actually a lot of time. <laughs> That was my human task. Hey, what's up, Sora? Hi, I'm late. Should my line be, hi, I'm Sora. Okay, so I want to be like sub-14 going into Death Mountain, so we're a little bit off. <laughs> but you know what? That's, uh, that's trophy straight. Trophy cave strats for you. So I forgot to refill my life there, F, but uh, that worked out. I wanted to refill my life so I would have Sword Beam to do that first guy a little quicker. Totally okay. Hey, what's up, Max? Max in 2018? <laughs> Question mark. Sub 80 in 2018? Uh, why did I jump early? I'm gonna take another life here because I want to have a uh, Sword Beam for this strat. Unfortunately, that bot creep left on me, but I still got the bat kills. That's what the beam is for. That strat is actually just built on the fact that that bot doesn't crawl into your way. So I got the only bad luck possible there. there otherwise, there's no better strat, actually. <laughs> That's the uh, fastest strat. There's definitely damage list strats there, they're just a little slower. Okay, a little bit of troll of a bot pattern on the first guy, so I took the Dyra a little weird. Duck! Oh. You can like duck under that bat sometimes, it's actually kind of funny. Killing everything percent. Everything must go. Everything 200% off. Kill all the bits. Just kidding. I'll leave at least uh, one life, maybe. Who knows? They're all dead. Jokes on them. Sorry, Rip. There's a running gag where uh, bits are sweeties, which are those red guys, and you should not kill them. And we used to try to avoid killing them during the runs. <laughs> but I uh, murdered all of them. I'm sorry. Okay, casting life again. I'm always casting life just for beam, really. Ooh. Dang it, I thought I was gonna get like a level up there. I wanted beam for basically going um, no stop strats there. It was a little awkward without beam here, but that, would, that was fine. I have to remember to not do any percent strats here. <laughs> I've been grinding any percent. And those red guys take a lot longer to kill. And it was actually messing up my AK practice. Also, it's a good thing that Eon is in chat, Enchantress of Numbers, because she is a runner of this game. She's very knowledgeable in it. So if I miss anything, you guys can definitely ask questions because uh, we got some good people in the chat that can also answer them. Just an FYI. Bits are sweeties. Although I did kill them all. <laughs> Link's garb is just covered in red bit blood. Don't tell Rep. Can I pop in there for a quick moment? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I just want to remind everyone we do have some uh, donation incentives, and we do have one for the next run coming up. The uh, Tales of Malage. I'll be honest, I don't know. 
But uh, our next game, there is a donation incentive to name the hero. So if you wanted your name or some other name as a hero's name of a speedrun, now's the time. Um, and donate as much or as little as you want towards that. And uh, you have about an hour-ish, or until the end of this run, whenever that may be. Hopefully just barely under an hour for now. <laughs> Hopefully. Well, there you go. That's how much time you've got left. So I did a strat that Feasel actually kind of convinced me to do. One day he asked me, Hey, why don't you skip that cave and just like run straight for the last cave? Like, why are you always so safe? And I was like, oh, I don't know, I get encounters there. And then ever since then, I've been skipping the second cave to save just a couple seconds. And I like get an encounter maybe one out of 20 times. It's, oh shoot, it's actually super legit to skip that second cave. There's even a strat to skip both of them, but uh, I believe just going into the first one immediately is pretty fast. Because the, uh, the bad breaks or the simple strat is uh, to delay for an audio cue and then start moving out. But I mean, since you're delaying, you might as well just like walk into that first cave. IMO. Because it's just way easier and safer. Or at least in my experience. Come touch me! Touch me! No! I want to get an encounter on the square to the left. I'm just gonna wait and take it. It's safer. Uh, this sets me up actually for better encounters before this next cave, which would actually have enemies. And I, I just don't want to fight enemies right now. Kind of low health. I don't want to cast life. It'll waste a lot of time. I want to keep my magic for uh, a jump cast in fairy time. So we're trying not to get hit at all. But luckily these guys were super nice and not throwing many coconuts. Yes, those are coconuts. No, I'm not wrong. Okay, 2013 here. Not the best. I could actually PB on this run though. <laughs> 19 out of 20 attempts. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't, I, uh, I don't actually advocate light strats, but uh, I do do them. They do work 100% uh, of the time, half the time. Which is enough for me. Okay, pretty good split. I mean, apart from getting... Um, Damage. I think I got damage on the split. Yeah, in the uh, two bridges. Like a dummy. So I'll lose a little time. Coconuts are those things in VOD. Coconuts are everywhere in our lives. We'll just say that. Okay, so I can just cast jump. This is why I wanted to not cast life. You would barely have just enough, or just too little, rather. Shining Raid. Oh, it's Bowie. Let's go. Bowie's going to be doing a run here pretty soon, I think. Shoutouts to them. Thanks for the host. Raid. Both hosts. Whichever it is. Um, so this is basically a collection phase. I am just getting down thrust and fairy, and then I'm gonna actually head to P2. Um, down thrust makes everything infinitely faster. Technically, you can get to P2 without getting uh, down thrust, but it's gonna make everything faster, everything safer. Uh, going through P2, you can basically like no stop kill a ton of different rooms because of down stabs. So. It is the best move in the game, by far. It is the most broken move in the game, by far. <laughs> and I'll show you why later. You can kill some um, pretty tough enemies that people usually have problems with in a mere like half second with down throws. Um, so exiting town, I'm actually going to go up one square and just to manipulate uh, good encounters. Or the ability to dodge them, rather. And not get a double spawn on that spot right there. 
it just makes this whole section easier if you just waste a one spot there. Oops. Ugh. Get the jar. Okay, I have a lot of XP. I could have used a 200p back there and I would have had 1971 XP. And that would have got me attack 5 like immediately into P2, but this is actually really good luck. Getting a jar there is actually probably better. It might be faster since I was able to cast fairy on that heart container. Like considering my current XP. If I was low XP though, I'd be looking for 200p bags. So you could totally get screwed if I if I like just got nothing but red jars. I could actually just get screwed and uh, not have an ex enough XP to get the right attack level. Uh, leaving pals too. But right now we're like we're totally Gucci. Everything's good. Dang, that was looking like a good swamp. But alas, it's not. One and a half's all right. It's pretty average. Okay, and now we're all refilled and have good XP. This is uh, not a bad run. Hey, what's up, Zap? Controlly. I hate bots. Bots are everybody's least favorite enemy. That guy's a jerk. I don't know what happened there. Okay. <laughs> I was not ready for this room. I should have been prepared. I actually don't know why I didn't uh, jump stab that first guy. And then I didn't have fairy selected. You always have to reselect your magic when you want to use it. Kind of annoying, but at least it helps you not accidentally spam select and use your magic up unwillingly. I've definitely fat fingered the select button when hitting start before, so. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. No, don't jump, you jerk. <laughs> Anyways, continuing. I don't want to take any more damage, really. Uh, I'm pretty good, like I'm gonna get a match refill pretty soon, but uh, I want to save it. I want to just use life 3 to get my health back. Those guys completely jump at random, it's actually really annoying. Oh my god, just get the key and get the heck out of here. Okay, cool. This is a death room, by the way. <laughs> but the bots all killed themselves. That's how you want this room to go. <laughs> bots aren't fun. Okay, I'm gonna kill, like, one. Maybe I should kill both. I don't really know. Actually, I'll kill this guy because there's a stupid bubble in the way. This uh, palace is all about adapting to how much XP you have and killing or not killing accordingly. You can optimize this palace really well, by s there's a lot of uh, spots where you can skip enemies. Okay, that was fun. Back off, bro. Okay. <sighs> oh my god, do I cast life? I'm gonna be safe. Uh, this is not how I usually play. Ugh! I could have just killed this guy, and then oh, I could get that red jar. I should react so much better here. Guys, I messed up. It's okay. You know, I didn't actually realize my health was that low. So that's a death abuse <laughs> in a different category. <laughs> you can actually do that to save time. That actually legit saved time, but it's gonna lose time later because I have to save a life for something else. I thought I could take two hits there. 
Um, I guess only with life three. So regardless, I'm gonna get the life three level up in this room, so. We're gonna just call that, oops, why didn't I take it? Uh, we're just gonna call that Death of Ease, for real. Cause it kinda was. That'll uh, also save me time for when I beat the boss and all my stuff has to refill. New strats, yeah I'm also known for new strats on the fly, just so you know. Usually doesn't go well. Spike strats. There's some pretty cool strats you can do in rooms like this, um, but it involves like dodging through the hammers pretty well. I have not practiced that. Light out of practice. What's new? <laughs> I hate. I actually hate this category, but this game's super fun, so I, I do love playing it for like marathons and stuff. But this is not my category of choice by far. Um, I've been grinding any percent, which is way shorter. It's under 20 minutes. Um, this category is great. It's just I have played it so dang much. And there's a huge grind factor to it. And the fact that it's an hour, you know, like an hour and 15 long for the world record. It makes it a pretty hard category to grind. There's a lot of optimization in it. It's probably the hardest uh, speedrun in this game to optimize. I'm just gonna take this little save. So I can save on refill time. I shouldn't have even cast a shield there, since I was taking it safe. Oh well. One's Iconoclast? <laughs> Pretty soon. Pretty soon. I actually need to complete my, um... My challenge playthrough, which is like one... It's like hardcore mode. Take one hit and you're dead. Okay, we're hoping for a good swamp. It's probably not gonna be good. Already off to a not good start. This is basically luck and like 10% dodging skills because like what can you do in a swamp? Okay, I took it a little closer. I need to take two extra steps if I want to get two mock manipulation. F, F these birds. F them. I got them in the worst freaking pattern there. Okay, so I only need to take one extra step here. And I should be in counterless till the end now. This is called the tomb walk strat. By taking like a certain amount of steps on the overfield, you hit the you hit the actual spots where enemies would spawn at certain times when you're safe and they won't spawn. Otherwise, like say I walked out like a frame early into the area where like stuff could actually spawn, uh, I would have got something. So because of taking the two extra steps, I decline that. Okay. So I want a red jar coming up here. Off the statue. That would be really nice. Okay, cool. Um, somebody asked, why do you keep skipping level ups? That's because I'm trying to optimize my experience. At the end of a palace, um, you'll your XP will fill to the next like available next number up in the top right. So say I, I skip 300 and 400, you know, magic two and magic three to go straight to attack seven. Uh, it'll actually fill it'll fill the requirements for attack seven versus the other two as I place the crystal at the end of this palace. So obviously in order to go fast we have to like um, abuse that and always take the highest amount of XP possible. So certain enemies I'm killing and certain I'm not just because I'm setting up for the correct XP essentially. I don't need to kill too many because it's just too much XP and um, I don't want to kill too little because then I'll miss my attack levels which are the most important thing in the game.
That was a good question. Though. Okay, so, shoot, maybe I shouldn't have grabbed that pee bag. That actually screwed me up. Um, okay, I guess I'm just not going super fast. I didn't want that extra XP, to be honest. Oh, shoot! Okay, you know what? It's totally fine. <laughs> I'm gonna sl okay, I don't want to die. I don't want to die today. Okay. This was super slow. I don't think anybody's ever seen me take this room slower, but I don't want to die. <laughs> that level up was in a really weird spot. I could have timed the jump after it, but I didn't really want it. Okay, that's called Jackhammer. That's what I was talking about with killing really powerful enemies really fast. Um, you can actually mash down every time you let go of down and hit it again. You think puts out a hitbox for down thrust called the Jackhammer. So you can kill a bunch of uh, really junk enemies really fast. Okay, these bots were super nice. I usually am set up pretty well. I usually jump according to where they're on the stage, and I usually am able to react to them pretty well. But they uh, gave me the good pattern, so... Also, screw that stupid head. Also, the reason why I got messed up on XP there, um, I took too much so that I wasn't able to abuse casting fairy and then getting a refill immediately after on the uh, blue knight. I had too much XP. Oof, okay, that was a little bit of a screw up, but I made it out clean. That's all you can hope for. <laughs> This game uh, allows you to screw up quite a bit. There's a lot of messing up in this game. It's got a pretty high skill uh, skill ceiling. There's a lot of optimization and a lot of uh, ways to screw up. This is a really good game. If anybody wants to pick it up, this is the category to do it. And then you can run it for four or five years like I did and then get really burnt out. And then move to any percent and, and then tell yourself, why did I play AK that long? 8% is so fun. Okay, so I'm gonna take him pretty fast. Hopefully. I didn't really practice this, so we'll see what happens. Come back. Okay, this is not fast because I didn't dismount him very fast. Okay, this is actually really slow. Usually I dismount him a lot sooner. Can you come over here? Now he's in the stupid corner. Oh my god. <laughs> Remind me to never do this again. Remind me to never do that again. So normally you can actually sit here and get him on a good pixel, and then you can cheese this boss. Uh, but I tried to do it a slightly faster way and then cut him into a really bad cycle. That's what just happened. Um, also, while this fanfare music is playing, you can actually select your magic without really uh, losing time. Nice. Only while the fanfare music is playing, though, can you do that, so try to time that well. Link got owned. I'll, yeah, thank RN Jesus for Life 3, Shield, and Life. <laughs> As a magic spell. I used all of those to my advantage. Oh God. I don't want to lose beam here, that sucks. Okay, those encounters are usually really bad and take you on the road there. Okay, good. You always want to dodge over these encounters in this area. Um, they always, if you try to go under them, they always go down into you. So that's why I was kind of walking down and then going up and over. It's a little slower, but uh, it looks slower, but it's actually the optimal way to move past them. 
Um, that could have been done better. I think I could have chosen a better path, but... The reasoning behind that movement is still the same. No healing, that's the one you guys want to, to, to donate for. That's a good incentive right there. <laughs> Tell any RPG speedrunner that they can't heal and see what happens. Those are mighty fine incentives. So this town is pretty useless. Uh, I do use fire. That fire spell isn't used too often by like anybody, but uh, I can actually use it to potentially get a 6 drop on some enemies that only die to fire later. Um, and it could work out to my advantage and be faster than any strat. So we'll see what happens. That's way later though. Of course you go right while well, I don't have the sword beam. He always goes left. Dude, okay, that's just, that's just bad luck. This uh, area out here just has a normal path that you take, and it's usually pretty safe. That was not good. Luckily, I got fairies on the second one, so that was easy to dodge. Fairies are actually usually bad, but since I already had um, the spawns off, I kind of wanted fairies there. Fire is the best, you know? I don't disagree. I love fire. Fire! Also, casting fire on Dark Link at the end is just super swaggy, so there's that. Hello! Okay. But yeah, people always, always talk crap on freaking fire. And it's actually useful in this run. In this category specifically, you can actually save time with fire. It's actually kind of funny. I think Error uses fire in, like, the way that I use it, I got it from Error, and also he uses it when he does the alternate uh, GP strats. Pretty sure fire is, like, actually kind of necessary. Okay, that was really lucky. <laughs> I got a quick spawn and then I just went for it. I did an encounter skip there by taking an encounter on a fixed location encounter. Okay. Um you can actually skip this fixed encounter. So like if, say I take one of those on the spot right here, I wouldn't have, have to, I wouldn't have had to go on through this, this screen here, which is actually longer than a regular encounter screen. Also more dangerous because there's water. But uh, I got bad luck on that second spawn there. I just went for it. Okay, so here I'm going to be trying to go for su first try super jump, which is a frame perfect jump onto the next building to my left. If I miss it, I'll cast fairy. And I did. <laughs> so if you actually just cast fairy while holding down, you can actually go down this chimney. As long as you hold down, well, it'll uh, apply the fact that Link was is still holding down when you're a fairy. Hey, what's up, Antsy? Thanks for the good luck. Um, luckily this thing exists. It's called Santa Claus? Uh, Fairy Claus? <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember who found it. It's actually kind of a recent thing found. But uh, we used to have to actually spam super jump there. And it was actually a big time waster. It's a random time waster right in the middle of the run if you couldn't get first try super jump. Oh, you know what? That would have been actually a really good incentive, Eon, but uh, I don't know alt route. I, I mean, I do know it, but dang, I have not practiced that in like two or three years. Oh, I didn't even think about that. We will think about that for future runs, though. Um, later on in Grand Palace, the last palace, Great Palace, whatever you want to call it, you can actually take a different route, and then it ends up being you end up in the same room where you have to drop through these these blocks on the ground, but you can actually um, damage boost over the wall to get to the correct side of it. So alternate route GP is actually more hardcore, was thought to be faster, and then proven to be slower. So it was actually a sad day <laughs> when alt route was slow, because that was like the clutchest thing error has ever done. 
is uh, do alt route during PB attempts. It was, it's only barely slower though. It's just, uh, I don't even know if it's considered harder. There's just that damage boost at the end that you have to get used to. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, I wanted to not, I obviously stood there to wait for the encounter, but it was kind of a quick spawn. Didn't react fast enough. Okay, we're gonna take Encounter City, apparently. That was just me not focusing. No, get out of here. I actually uh, went up on the last frame there, so at least I made it a little closer. Green Inferno was not good. Okay, I'm only taking two deaths in here. That'll lose some more time too, but totally fine. I want to have an extra life. Oh, maybe that was it, Eon. Because uh, Boats tasked it. Maybe that was a. Yeah, you had to like play it perfectly and then it was three seconds faster. Whoops. But it was harder. Is that what happened? Yeah, it's been so long. <laughs> it was something like that. It was either give or take three seconds faster or slower. And so it was just like deemed not worth at all. I swear it was slower though because Error was like incredibly disappointed. Because I feel like if it was three seconds faster, Error would, Error would still go for it. What a garbage game. Oh my god, Albies the troll is here. I taught Albies how to play this game. Everything he does is what I've taught him. Taught him everything he knows. Best game, worst RNG. I agree. This game has some of the most soul-killing RNG ever. And it's mostly in other categories, to be honest. Uh, this this category it's mostly just the encounters. Other categories, you're looking for like a red jar, like 30, 40 minutes into the run, and then you lose like 30 seconds if you don't get it. Maybe less, actually, that's probably an exaggeration. Oops, I definitely wanted to take life four there. I'll just uh, get ready for it anyway. Or take the life up anyways. Because I have to go fight that blue iron knuckle. Um, technically he could body me if I just miss my stupid... Uh, my uh, jackhammer on him. Probably won't happen. Probably won't. You can basically get bodied by like everything in this game. Once you get off rhythm. Okay, going pretty good for the fact that I can only death abuse twice. I got that red jar. Uh, normally, that, or that, that's a 50-50 um, drop, so normally you actually see either at the same equal chance. So I was lucky to get the jar, not the iron knuckle, out of that statue. Okay, we're gonna be doing some risky strats in here. Alright, that was actually super safe. Uh, usually he's swinging his sword more right, so... I didn't even have to... that didn't even look scary. But it was. I promise that was pretty scary. It looks scarier sometimes, though. And it's all about making things look way worse than they actually are. In that case, all that skeleton needs to do is be standing more right or stab you. And you fall off into the lava. Ugh. I should have uh, down stabbed that, or er, not down stabbed, but I uh, just crouch stabbed that guy.
Can I jump in quickly? Yep, for sure. So we got a uh, five dollar donation from Drumboardist, and he says, "Hey y'all, five dollars to name Bowie's character in Final Fantasy Adventure. Name Fuji Dork and Sumo Nerd because I'm obviously childish. Well, I certainly approve of the names. So uh, if you guys do not want those names to go ahead in Final Fantasy Adventure, you have to donate and uh, counter that donation. So uh." Have fun with that, and again, we accept any and all donations going towards sending some of our ladies to RPG Limit Break. Thanks in advance. Good names, good names, confirmed. Oh, that's the worst luck, come on. You just had to throw it right at my feetsies. Fun fact, you can smack that block from the side. Super swag. Super swag. Oh, dang it. I got the quick kill on him, too. I wonder why he threw that. Or threw that, like, right there. Okay, we got the... <laughs> we got one example of a good, uh boulder or like block break room in here that was optimal technically using jump is a little bit more optimal but I actually didn't practice using jump in those rooms at all for this past week when I was doing marathon practice so I was just doing this the, uh, the easy one okay so I'm gonna take my final death of use here hopefully this is the last one of the game I kind of just want to hold on to my extra life for safety sake or for magic refill later which is also just safety so we're hoping to never death the bees again technically i uh, pe people do in gp in the final palace right before the boss it's actually smart too um but i'm actually going to be going for a perfect level up on my magic so that i don't have to take it it'd be a little faster um, but of course we have that life just for safety, so I could potentially just fall in VOD or something, so it's a good buffer. Like generally every runner comes into uh, comes out of P4 with one extra life, but it is technically faster to abuse all of your lives away, which I could have used one, um, an extra one here, I could use an extra one in um, the medicine cave room, about 20 minutes into the run. But we play in safe. Yeah, Deathless are my favorite by far. Okay, this guy's total luck. Total luck. If nobody's ever told you what RNG means, it's just luck. This guy's all of it. He's even kind of glitched on the bottom left. What a jerk. Didn't even get, give us all of his pixels during that fight. Okay, pretty average fight. I lost a bit of time here for not taking the death abuse and for quite a few encounters. But I'm pretty happy with this so far. Just wanted to pop in to say thank you so much, Del Magus, for the raid of uh, for the raiding party. Muchly appreciated. Awesome, thanks for the raid. Awesome. Okay, so I was actually debating whether or not I was gonna do this. Uh, coming up in Palace 5, the first trick I'm gonna do is called Eco Key. Um, it's basically, I'm manipulating a skull bubble, which are those bouncing off the wall bubble en uh, circle enemies. I'm going to manipulate him to be in my path, I'm going to try to damage boost up a very high uh, corridor. And if that goes well, I save a lot of time and I save magic. Otherwise, I'm going to lose a bit of time if I miss it. We'll see what happens. Ugh, I got these ropes off a bad pattern. I don't know. Okay, so I jump. Quite a bit off. Oh well. So now I need to cast Fairy. This basically depletes all my magic. So now I need to set myself up for more XP. I actually didn't kill one of those ropes, so... I need a Red Jar or I need Major XP. I could kill one of these guys. But I'm not going to. <laughs> that would have been really cool to get in the run. I'm not very consistent at Eco Key though. When Eco Key came around, I wasn't really grinding this category 
quite like as often as I used to. So I definitely need to practice that. Okay, we got the red jar. Cool. Um, I need the magic because I need to cast jump in this very next room. So technically, if I didn't get that red jar, I would actually have to grind for XP in here, which I would have to. I would have got a 200p back there, and then I would have just needed to kill one more of those orange wizards or mages, whatever they are. Magos is what they're called. Go, which I guess would make them a mage. Please. This room is also RNG. <laughs> that was pretty good luck, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but I got kind of bodied there, trying to get out. I should have cast Fairy. That's what I should have done. I forgot if you have uh, full magic, you can actually cast Fairy. After the key grab. So many things that you can do on the fly in this game. This game is pure, like, reactions. At least this category, uh, the longer categories are just mostly reactions. Shorter categories can be more predetermined, but also hard because you're low level, but just a different kind of hard. So if you have good reaction timing and good reaction speed, play this game. You'll probably be pretty good. I definitely want to kill a Mago or two for the XP. We'll see if it happens. Oh, uh, he's mad. He's heckin' mad. Holy buckets. <laughs> Sometimes you accidentally just poke one of those blue iron knuckles and they they throw a million knives. Not usually what happens. Okay, pretty good patterns there. However, I still do want to kill a Mago, so I mean, one spawning in my way could have been nice. Shoot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's my magic level. <laughs> that was awkward. That was actually good, though. I mean, like, I didn't kill that guy very fast, but at least I didn't flub it. I could just pop in for a quick second. Mm -hmm. We did get a $10 donation from Storm Crazy Iwin, who is one of our Valkyries. Uh, uh, getting my first donation in. I'd like this donation to go to naming Rydia Ali in FF4 in honor of my daughter who loves Rydia. Can't wait to run No64 to close out the event, but I'm not really ready to rush this week of games we love. So thank you so much for that donation. And, and right now, if you want to beat uh, Ali, who is the top name for Rydia, uh, you actually have a while. We have a couple of different Final Fantasy IV runs, so uh, there are lots of opportunities. Swag. For anybody that knows all the two jokes, I just saved two minutes. Okay, there's my drop. That's actually awkward. Um, is that, no, that sets me up for a three count exiting here. Okay, so I can still get my the fire six count that I was talking about earlier. No, I forgot to cast life. <laughs> okay, that was actually a pointless uh, jar to grab. Not a big deal. Ooh. That was a bad spawn. Just deal with it. Okay, so this blue iron knuckle, if you actually neutral jump, as soon as he's on uh, screen with you, you actually don't have to dodge his sword at the end here. It's actually kind of funny. Neutral jumping is just when you jump and let off your d-pad so that the enemies cannot predict where you're moving. If you hold left while you're in the air, enemies can actually predict that you're holding left, or they read the input and will act accordingly. Certain enemies, not every enemy, it, uh, tracks your movement. But for the ones that do, you can neutral jump, and they will completely lose you. Super useful. It's actually uh, a huge thing that was not like found in 2014, but it started being utilized in a lot of AK runs in 2014. And also, it's very useful in any percent. Oops. No! Okay, I don't want to take damage. Because <laughs> Guma hits pretty hard. He's the end boss. He hits heckin' hard. Also, okay, hello. 
cool? Is my XP cool? I might need to kill a Mago or that blue iron knuckle on my way. There's another blue iron knuckle after this guy. See, I get a guaranteed 150, 6, 700, 10, 11, 12. Oh, I'm good. I'm good on XP. I just need 700. And there is the extra buffer. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Um, by the way, certain enemies don't count towards my six counts. So I never explained that. Uh, large enemies and small enemies have six counter or six count counters. I don't know how to word that. Um, I'll say that after this fight, actually. Whatever. It took a lot of damage. It's still fast. Fast enough, rather. Um. So like, say I kill six large enemies in a row, I'm gonna get a, a drop at the end of it. It's always predetermined to drop on the sixth enemy. However, certain enemies don't count, like certain large enemies. Like, maybe the guys with spears, when they throw them, I don't think they count, stuff like that. Um, and so, I'm always in constant uh, awareness of like counting my six kills. So right now I'm at three for my large enemies, that means Later on in a cave, there's going to be three Tektites, like the jumping enemies, and when I kill the third one, he's going to have a drop that I need to be ready for. Uh, knowing your six count just saves you time because you know when the item's going to drop, you can wait for it. Like, you, you kill the guy and then you just sit there. Um, and it's a really cool mechanic that the game has. It allows you to, like, always be uh, choosing your battles and, like, killing the right enemies at the right times. Ooh, didn't get it. Okay, so this was a, a manipulation strat to get an encounter on the first uh, fixed encounter here. It's called River Monster Skip, or it's called the the River Dance, rather. And I missed it, but it's also based on luck. I had a bad spawn there. I went for a second try and got it. Um, magic and life are all looking good. Gonna be casting Fairy here a bunch. And yeah, we're at the last leg of the game. One more, uh, two more palaces. One more palace and then Grim Palace. These guys damaging you does not really matter, by the way. It shouldn't matter. As long as you don't take a ton of damage later. It's fun to try to dodge them, but... It's like a little minigame. Once you get on a bad cycle of those guys coming up, though, it's really hard to. Dude, why did you guys go up? <clears throat> Bad luck there. A bit. I could have probably tried to dodge that better. Okay. Just get in. Cool. Hello? Cast fire? Okay, these are the tech types, by the way. Except for this is way slower because <laughs> I didn't have fire ready, so I slowed down. Also, the tech types were jumping in my way. So there's my red jar. Um, that would technically save time if I hadn't, like, with that room, if I had gone like no stop, that would have been way better. Because basically, I normally take a magic refill in this upcoming segment. <laughs> Whoops. So it actually it'll save time here, but not on the previous split. Ruler governments, yes, those are <laughs> the, the large enemies I was talking about. Los Alphas actually do count, unfortunately, for you. I don't know if that's unfortunate for anybody. <laughs> if you actually believe that lizard people control the government, then it is a problem. Oops, I was reading chat. <laughs> this is the only room where, like, it's super awkwardly different, obviously. That door is just wide open. You go in there, you go into like this little cubby that looks, looks like a freaking chimney. Or the fireplace, rather. OK, 
Okay, no more flubbing. A little bit of flubs in this this uh, town. Now is not the time to be flubbing because this is technically where the run gets pretty hardcore. I mean, like, the run's always got points of death, but P6 and Valley of Death and P7 are pretty much like the the true end game. They're, they're pretty hard. They're hard to do optimally, that's for sure. I'd say, like, safe strats make it pretty easy, but you can say that about every strat in, or every area in the game. I'm gonna be attempting to do world record strats in quotations. So it will be difficult in quotations. Just gonna pop in with a uh, another quick donation. Totally. Uh, it's actually for me. I tossed 750 at the hero's name for our next run. Uh, it's, he's currently named, or they're currently named Ultros. So if you don't want the best octopus ever to be the hero of our next game, uh, you have to beat my seven dollars and fifty cents. So uh, donate soon. This run is almost over. I just want to say that it's the most awkward sunspot on my TV right now. just want to throw that out there. <gasps> Don't die! Oh my god. <laughs> well, I was just talking about how like you shouldn't be uh, in danger here. Also, I did not get the slink. I don't think I arrived at that spot in time, because that guy did not go left. Okay, that was good. Cool. Okay, I kind of need a red jar. I can deal without magic, but I really want a red jar here. Like, really bad. Okay. Mm and I don't have an enemy that's gonna drop one in here. Okay, so I just gotta get really lucky. I gotta get a red jar at some point here. Kinda lame. Oh my god, I'm never, I'm never awake at this hour. I'm never on my computer or playing at my TV at this hour. There's the maddest sunspot on the middle of my screen right now. It's actually kind of funny. Damage boost. Um, luckily, it's on the upper half and Link's usually on the bottom half. Up here. Oh my god, the sunspot's literally on Link. That's where it's at on my screen, it's where Link was just now. Classic. Red jar? Yay, red jar. Oh, I should have casted life there just to get full life. Whatever, doesn't matter. Kind of matters, but. <laughs> You can actually knock that guy off really heckin' fast. This is now the dog stream, apparently. Believe in the jar that believe it did believe in me. It was like, hey, light, I'm chillin'. Come get me. This is the Borg stream now? Hello? You've just entered the Borg zone? Almost like a Canadian pitfall. You do not want to fall down the Canadian pit. I'm telling you that right now. There's an invisible pit and it leads straight to Canada. There's a running joke that that pit that you have to actually cast jump to jump over in that previous room. That's invisible. Um, I don't know if it was un unwary, but there was a Canadian speedrunner that just like, he was on pace for a really good run. Fell down the like, easiest like jump in the in the game so ever since then it was called the canadian pit or the canadian hole fantastic name and fantastic reason for the name no okay we're taking a lot of damage kind of sucks did i hit that i might have got ceiling walk here no it's so close you can actually walk on the ceiling here and it's completely legal in the run but i get the 
land on it from the previous screen. Get him. Okay, you want to kill these guys while only moving right. Either don't move left, or just stand still and kill those guys, or move right. Because the second you move back left, it actually starts spawning more floating heads. So it's very, um... It's very important that I didn't go left on that screen after the, the heads started spawning. Just forewarning, hopefully I don't die on the boss, because I didn't really practice jackhammer. But, uh, we did it again. Are you kidding me? Aren't there actually Death of Bees here? I actually did this in a, in a race once. I'm not going to say I haven't done this before. Oh, that was a bad habit. I just hit select randomly without thinking to cast shield, even though I didn't have shield selected. That was totally just to refill my magic and health. <laughs> I did that in a race versus somebody a couple years ago, and I still won the race. So we're good, don't worry. I still have any extra lives now. Uh, however, I can go get some. I'm gonna go get this extra life. It's just safe. I don't wanna... I don't wanna game over. That was totally my bad. Totally my bad. This doesn't waste too much time, but uh... I mean the whole casting fairy and wasting that, sh that stuff probably wasted more time than that. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> New strats. Okay, so here you don't want to stop until you get to like the very end. If you actually stop, then you um, get Barb on a bad cycle. Okay, that was pretty good. That was like 7 out of 10. <laughs> I fell off. Um, so when you do jackhammer, you basically just kind of tilt yourself over right, and then you tap left while mashing down so that you sit on top of his head, and then you, once you're almost got, uh, once you almost have the kill, you just start tapping left again. I was actually watching Error uh, practice the jackhammer on that guy, one of the GDQs. And um, his inputs were so exact, he was actually really consistent at it. He was like double tapping right, double tapping left at the perfect times. It was actually amazing. If you guys don't know who Air72 is, you should go check out some of his runs, because he is a beast at this game. He just hasn't run it in quite a while. Um, he did like some <laughs> no scroll no scroll lock glitch run at a GDQ. But uh, he definitely does a much, much better runs other than that. Okay, so we're gonna have fairy selected just for safety's sake. Um, I don't want to fall in water or lava, so like if I'm about to, I'm gonna cast fairy. It'll be a huge problem for magic later, but uh, dying is way worse. And this is the last leg of the game, Valley Death and P6 or P7. This is where I would normally be like, alright chat, I'm gonna focus on the run, but uh, I've been neglecting you peeps, so <laughs> it's already a habit. Okay, I took that a little safe. Keeping sword beam here is really important too because all the MOAs, the flying enemies, GP, Turn God can be dodged with them. Dude, nice! Got the GTM strat. Okay. Okay, this is really good. <laughs> this would be really good in a PV attempt. Oh, I thought that other guy was going down. Okay, not good anymore. Go. 
Okay, this sunspot on my TV is actually in the worst spot now that I think about it. <laughs> I actually have to see right where it's at. Oh, this is awkward. Mm, I just died there. Okay, I can't die in a pod here anymore. That was a bad death. That was actually a really bad death because I was at full like magic and everything. Like that could have been a really useful life going into GP. That's the only reason that really sucks. Okay, XP is good though. Um, I'll cast a spell here just to not take this hit. Yeah, this sunspot on my TV, I just realized it's in the worst spot for Valley of Death. That actually super sucks. When I died, it was just like, I didn't really know what I was looking at. Like, right at this, like, orange MOBA guy, <laughs> he kind of blends in. <laughs> oh well. It worked out. Oh, that's not the uh, magic item. Okay. I looked at my magic from previous. So I actually wanted to take that level up later. Um... I want to say this is kind of safe though. This isn't the worst to take it right now. Um, especially since I don't have an extra life. Having the extra magic might help. I just need to get lucky with red jars. And luckily since it's a PB attempt I can go infinitely for red jars and not like worry about it. Dude, two carrying flames? Oh my gosh. So... <laughs> Usually, those guys will shoot like four flames, and one of them is usually one that carries around, like it'll go left or right, it'll kind of follow you. And he shot two in a row. I've actually, I don't know if I've seen that. There's always the GP one up, yeah. I don't think I'll need that. <laughs> that one's like really out of the way. We'll see though, we'll definitely see if my magic is super low and like half health or something. Basically, if I get to the point where I'm at the one up and I have full health and no, no magic, um, I'll skip it. Any worse than that and I'll go grab it. <laughs> Get out of here. Dude, get out of here. Oh, you're dead. That would have been my level up right there, too. Wish he didn't hit me. Never seen that. I don't think I have. <laughs> it's, it is a marathon curse, it seems. Okay, cast the shield just to be safe. Yeah, that guy's pretty wild. is a wild child. Um, I will grind this guy. Uh, I do want a red jar here. Okay. Cute! So that way we can get shield and jump cast and have full magic. Okay. Just get out of that hole. Okay, one hit there's... okay. I'm trying to hold on to like everything right now. I don't want to cast any magic or get hit if I can because I can actually get to the boss with this what I have right now. Um, but I do want to go into the boss with like full magic essentially. Cool, that was a good pattern. Has <laughs> ever seen anything ever. <laughs> Okay, man, that was uh, not intended. That's not how you do that room. I kind of want to get that red jar. Dang it. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the red jar. Wow, 
Why did you have to shoot that? Okay, so if I had kept my extra life from VOD, I would have been able to level up here even with the, the level up mistake. Um, I would have been able to death abuse here, is what I meant to say, I think, and uh, get my magic refill. But we running on no lives. Okay, cool. That's what I wanted. Sunspot. I don't want to keep complaining about the sunspot, but it's really bad. It's right in the middle of the screen. <laughs> I was like thinking it'd be cool. I was like, oh, Link's never on the middle of the top of the screen. I was wrong. Sunspot hype. Yo, playing at 11.30 a.m. hype. <laughs> okay, so uh, we'll cast fire here for rip. If I get bodied by Dark Link, I'm going to be so sad. Okay, that's called getting bodied. Come on. Okay. Phew. <laughs> Barely sub 80. And that's Zelda too. Played to perfection. I'm not plus three on my splits at all. I'm actually plus 309. Let's not talk about it. Um, sub 80. That's actually a really good marathon time though. At least for me. Um, considering my current skill level. So, And I have not been able to practice this category very often. I spent maybe 10 to 15 hours on it before this run. So I'm actually really happy with these results. Flawless. Thanks for the GG's. Snailed it. Okay, the only scene that matters in this game, uh, Link gets hugged behind this curtain. Good old fashioned, uh, Christian side hug. <laughs> the end. <laughs>